All right, you're welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. And we're, you know, continuing the conversation. This time around, we're talking about vagina steaming, which is a very interesting topic. Uh, I threw it out there on social media to find out if people actually do it. Yes. And there's a young woman who says she loves to do it with herbs. So what she does is, I mean, uh, maybe once a month, um, you know, she would steam some herbs and... Which herbs? Though? Try to hang over it. Herbs mm -hmm. that are supposed to clean... Yeah. Um, you know, your vagina and keep it very clean and Did smell she specify fresh. though? Well, no, she didn't. Ooh. She didn't. But she says this is something that she does. Okay. So you sort of hang over it yes. and allow the steam to, to you know, there. get in there and clean the place up. And clean the place up. Yeah. I wonder if it actually cleans the place up. Well, I mean, we all do understand. Doctors have said it continuously yeah. that there's some, uh, there's some bacteria in there. And, yeah. they, and they are supposed to protect the place and exactly. so it's like a self-cleaning oven exactly um you know so when you try to insect insert things in there then you're rather killing the bacteria exactly and or reducing the acidity the place. of the place and so it opens you up to more infections exactly as well but i mean um i, I thought douching was not a bad thing until a doctor actually told, told me you it is. that even that is worse yeah. especially when it's scented yeah. because it, it affects has even the more pH balance of, of you know, of the, the area, the area. In there as well. Yes. I don't know if you've ever done any of those. No, I've never. And I'm one of those who strongly believes that, um, you know, just leave it to nature. Okay. Because that's really all it is. Um, there's the labia, uh, majora. You can yeah. clean those. Yeah. And yeah. you can, even with those, you don't use harsh chemicals. You use unscented soaps. Uh, all wipes yeah and and you and are fine water. you know and water and then yeah. you are good to go so i i, I strongly don't believe i i don't believe in using such things they are the yoni stones and all those new oh, things are they? what does it do you, the people they say you put them in there you actually insert them and the stones yes in and it has this uh, power thingy to it it's got like some vibes natural vibes you know those who believe in um, you know, nature and the universe okay. and the vibes that it has. Okay. And so then it cleanses the area. I just think it's a scam, really. And so it cleans your vagina regardless. Whether or not you do anything to it, your vagina will clean itself, you know. I know. I, I think a lot of people like to rely on some of these products, especially because of probably candidiasis and mm. stuff. So they would like to self-treat. Yes. So you can just walk into a pharmacy and buy whatever you think would work for mm. you. Go back home and do that. I mean, clinically, um, there have been times where a doctor has recommended douching, but yeah. that's because, you know, you probably got infected, and yes. so there's some chemical douche that you have to use okay. uh, just to clean the place up and restore the pH, pH balance. balance. But then there are well. also other creams that, um, generic creams that doctors would yeah. um, oh, prescribe. Exactly. I mean, people use these, these things for, um, the uh, what's it called, the steaming for all sorts of reasons, for depression, for infections and all of that. But mm. then there are medical treatments. Again, as you've mentioned, I don't know about douching though, but there are other medical treatments yeah. for these things. All sorts of creams that have been tested medically. Once you yeah. use them, antibiotics, mm -hmm. and it will help mm -hmm. your system. It so will. you don't necessarily have to go and, you know, treat yourself exactly. for infertility. And, and, and Abinabewa says, but things. what about the use of yoni pearls? Uh, exactly some, that. I, I'm new to that. I didn't even know there was oh. something like that. I think it's a scam. And Priscilla says that I've never done that steaming thing before. I just washed the place with normal water and I'm good to go yeah. okay that's interesting to know uh, this one says I've never tried steaming and I don't think it's necessary that's Laurie Firefly mm. and um, Ruby Fia says looking forward to this conversation normal water is the best if you are neat you are neat Bejo yeah. Mary Delano and Flair says is wiping also wrong well they say usually when the wipe when you insert the wipe in there, because some people like to go all yeah. the way up, so that's where it already has gems on there problem. also. Exactly, it already so has gems just on wipe there. the body. But we're talking about steaming now. Uh, vagina steaming, a culture practiced by most nursing mothers to heal their postpartum wounds, is gradually becoming redefined to provide a soothing warmth. But apart from the warmth it provides, uh, are there other benefits as well? So Ajua Adobiausu sets out to find some answers to this question. Take a look. Vaginal steaming is an ancient women's health practice that involves sitting over warm steaming herbs. Current research shows that it is a traditional practice in at least 28 countries worldwide. It is said to cleanse the vagina and uterus, regulate menstruation and ease period cramps and bloating. Although steaming varies from place to place, it is universally used after giving birth. Most often administered by midwives, the popularity of postpartum steaming is highly known. Vaginal steaming, it helps the mother to regain its pre-pregnant state by the uterus coming back to its normal state. And also, if 
you see after delivery you get a lot of a, a bit of bruises and other things so we advise that you do that a lot of people are not really practicing it i i i learned as just recently that um a celebrity outside just tried it and the person came up with this thing and a lot of people are now going into it the chief executive started the spa business about a month ago i am currently going through the vaginal steaming process and i'm sure you may be wondering what a throne and a crown is doing at a vaginal steaming center known as a spa well the throne which is known as the paltro is just to make you feel comfortable while you go through the process and the crown to make you feel like the queen that you are the vaginal steaming process is actually quite simple it is a mixture of herbs and warm water what are these herbs that we are talking about we have the magworth we have the donkwai we have the saffron and the saffron specifically is an aphrodisiac. The rates for the steaming ranges from 120 to 400 cities depending on how long the person wants to be on the seats. People who practice vaginal steaming believe the herbs can penetrate vaginal tissues and offer a variety of benefits. One of Aisha's clients, Georgina Opong, who learned about vaginal steaming on Facebook, was shocked to find out that something like that existed and decided to give it a try. I choose exotic because I wanted to relax. <laughs> you know, even when you sit on even hot water, you see how you feel. Yeah, so this is beyond even sitting on the hot water. Some men reacted to the steaming process. If it could tighten it for a man to be happy, that one we have no problem. If it's effective, why not? If not, then there's no need for you to even waste time to sit in the warm water or whatever it is called. Gynecologists, however, believe that vaginal steaming is unnecessary since the vagina naturally cleanses itself. Some doctors even say that don't do anything in there because you have a natural protection. So yes, there is, but the act of sex and going up and down that route may influence uh, the change of environment and then uh, uh, there could be some infections. According to Dr. Hine Kulabi, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that vaginal steaming helps any condition, but could it be harmful? Don't introduce unnecessary things into the vagina. You never know the, the other side of it. Yes, it may help, it may be soothing, it may contain certain ingredients, herbs or whatever, which may be antibacterial or improve the, the pH of the vagina. But it, to be doing it routinely, I, I, I think it's, it's a wrong practice. Dr. Hineku Labi urged women to consult a physician whenever they see any uncomfortable signs around the vagina. Social media to ask a few people what they would prefer to do, whether they are okay with just water or would go as far as steaming or douching just to keep the place clean. And Naneke Teaching Mentor says, yes, water should be the best to use because any other thing can interrupt with the actions of the normal flora present. Uh, okay. And this one says, well, water is the best. That's for foot D, D. And um, Franklin says, I love the steam ones better. I still smoke. Don't know what you mean by that. But Bernard Hansi says, yes, Christo, steam in sana, GSM. Uh, to me, good, uh, live good <laughs> and stay away from certain acts. Uh, that is better. Dora Ama says, I use only water and I'm okay with it. Santia Dole Angelina says, I also use only water. Nothing more, nothing less. All right. Um, Emmanuel Asabri says, as funny as this may sound, they don't steam it for shower. They steam it for the match. I mean, hey. the, this thing. I wish you know what we're, we're talking about. Exactly. That, uh, well, I didn't even know that there was actually even, um, you know, a they spa. Have spas for those. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have I didn't spas know that. Those. Okay. So let's find out what <laughs> other people are saying as well. Who steamed the Eddie Kinky? Okay. I think that's about it for the comments. A few people are very excited about it. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know I how think. you go to a spa. 
to say what? I'm come to steam my VJJ yeah, yeah. and so prepare for Yo, me. Yoni steam. It's a Yoni steam. So you go in there. It's on, it's on the list, right? So do you, you want sit. a back massage? Do you want a Thai massage? Do you yeah. want this massage? Whatever it is. And I want a Yoni. I want a Yoni treatment or whatever it is. It's just like how you're going for waxing as well. And you're like, I want a bikini wax, right? Oh, yeah. But I mean, I, I'm, this is my first time even seeing that there's a chair with a hole. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you actually sit on it yeah. and it goes to Very it. properly invented, eh? <laughs> wow. Okay, this is yeah. interesting. Have you, you done it before? Oh no, no. I, I've told you, I will never do it. I don't think I'll ever try it. I don't support it because okay. yeah, I will let try somebody it do see. it naturally. <laughs> Maybe I should. AJ, are you going to book a spa session for me so you know <laughs> we can experiment and see how that works? Hey. Okay. On that note, let's. Oh.